Welcome back to the SWAM course on design thinking and innovation. Uh, this is section on projects, week 4. Here we will apply what we learnt in the previous section on tools of mapping user participation onto your project. So, section P4, week 4. So, the topic is secondary research and user mappings. So, we will be continuing with the secondary research and then doing the user participant mapping. So, first identify users relevant to your topic based on their backgrounds and the level of expertise. Also look at their interest and activities, document this information in appropriate categories. Create a user participant relationship mapping to identify the different users that are important to your topic. So, this is the part of the this particular project. So, let us look at it as steps for week 4. The first one is identify different users based on their backgrounds in relevance to your topic. Uh, so, you kind of you know make this segment based on their age, gender, location, education, profession etcetera, whatever you think is important for your topic. Then also you can look at them from the level of expertise in interacting with the topic that you have. Okay. It could be somebody who is new to it, who uses it once in a while, who is an expert user or a super expert user. Uh, so, depending on that they can become casual, occasional or power user right. And then you go on to identifying uh, users based on their interest and activities, make a list of the activities of your main user. Uh, for example, if it is a product for the elderly, the activities could be walking, meeting friends regularly, helping the society etcetera their interest could be solving puzzles, you know teaching their grandchildren, gardening etcetera. Yeah, so, so, you make this relationship between the user and their interest and the activities that they are doing. And uh, fourth section is actually trying to make the participant mapping. Okay, so, this will help you identify the different kinds of users and the varying levels of participation uh, with respect to your topic. Uh, again, you can do this first on paper and after you find less make a digital version of it. And how to do it? We just showed you in the tool section how to do the user participant mapping. So, thanks a lot for listening. Uh, that was section P4, week 4. Let us summarize. We did the design process. Uh, further secondary research and trying to understand users. Uh, the tool explained how to do user participant mapping, very important and simple. Yeah. Uh, everybody please do this exercise. Uh, we applied secondary research trying to understand users, uh, their needs, uh, their expertise and also do the user participant mapping. And the next section is be a case study, uh, a product design project case study.